welcome back uh, you are uh, watching prime uh, on my media prime this time around we are going to be asking whether president bia will heed to cardinal Tumi's amnesty call we remember that uh two three days back uh cardinal Tumi called on president paul bia to grant amnesty to those involved in the struggle in the southwest and northwest uh, region i'm talking about uh, the anglophone uh, crisis could this be one of the messages he got from uh, the guys who kidnapped him? Yeah, he got these messages from um, the guys who kidnapped him. But I just want to say that... He, he, that they should grant the amnesty? Amnesty. They, they, they want peace. They want ceasefire. They want uh, a dialogue. Mm. Sorry, dialogue. Mm. My, my, my problem is that President Tumi had already been involved in the Anglophone General Conference. Mm. He, he never had the authorization to hold this meeting in Cameroon. And will it be this time that the, he will be listened to? The next thing is that he, you, you, he has been disregarded several times by the same people who kidnapped him. Or his position, you know, his position is not for secession. He has been disregarded. Same people kidnapping and asked him to send the message to President Pobia. If President Pobia was listening to some to people, it wouldn't be just now and we can not be coming up from the alliance then. Mm -hmm. it, it's like <laughs> it's like a threat. It's more like a threat than a call. I, I, I will say this. If the president doesn't listen to Tumi when he called the Anglophone General Conference, I don't think it's going to happen now. Mm -hmm. So to me, Tumi is just doing it to save his, uh, his head, let me put it this way, so that he can be able to cross, uh, go across Bui's <laughs> to Bui's division. Because this call, is just a, he's just doing it, it's his role as a curate, to call for peace, to call for those concerned to negotiate so that we can have peace. But talk, getting any reaction from President Paul Bia is a waste of time, that's my opinion. Okay, it's a waste of time. Waste you of think so? Um, no. When you look at the approach adopted by Cardinal Tumi, he has been consistent from the onset, even though uh, very tired, he keeps talking. True. Is, do you think that uh, other men of God should also emulate and push uh, that force? It is just been obvious that uh, as men of God, men of God are supposed to be, let me say, the conscience mm. of the state. It is true that uh, most of the times we have been made to believe that uh, uh, the religious people should not get involved in the politics of a nation. Not involving the politics does not mean you should stop speaking the truth. So, the let me say the church has to speak because majority of those involved are Christians. Mm -hmm. And if not Christians, they are Muslims. And so I think that these religious bodies have a place in maintaining the stability and peace of this nation. And so they have a voice that they are supposed to lift up. The only problem is the intimidation that a lot of them have suffered has resulted to fear. And I want to point this uh, clear. When you look at Cardinal Tumi, uh, Brenda mentioned that might be he was just passing a message. No, I don't think he was passing the message that those guys gave him. He maintained his point. He does not want secession. Those guys are for secession. He does not want secession. He wants federalism. And he went for that. Now it is a plea to the president. In order for us to have peace, please grant a general amnesty that will cover everybody. In that case, that is what he thinks is the best solution that he can give to the president. And we are living in a nation where the advice of the cleric has little or nothing to do. They are considered to be men of the church, and so they have nothing to do with the affairs of the uh, 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 Is that not the position you people have given yourselves? It is not us that give, give ourselves. Why? Because... I remember a minister once made it plain that we have to keep the two 
divided. The church remains in church and let politicians do what they is do. Is the kingdom of God not suffering uh, violence and they are failing to take it by force? And the violence are supposed to take it by force. <laughs> I don't think that is the best interpretation of it. The church has its rule. Like I said, the church is supposed to remain the conscience of the society. Mm -hmm. If our leaders are going off the path, we need to call them to order. We need to tell them this, what you are doing is wrong. Mm. Yeah, but... And if you look at it, Mr. Leo, for the past while, a lot of ministers of the gospel have become afraid to speak because they think that a man can take away their lives. They forget to know the God who actually ordained them, the God who called them. So holding your voice back is actually endorsing the acts of violence that we are seeing which i think is not supposed to be a part and parcel of a servant of god we are supposed to talk out talking out is not condemning people but is pointing the truth and showing the path we are supposed to be the light and so let's shine and that is the error which most of my brothers have okay. done because of fear yeah that is, uh, once again uh tomorrow we are going to uh, expect men of god in this um <laughs> panel again tomorrow to tell us the way forward but uh, when you look at Cardinal Tumi telling President Paul Bia to grant amnesty, he's talking on whose behalf. Do if he, if President Paul Bia saying I have granted amnesty, would the separatists even uh, agree to the to the amnesty? Do they really recognize the Kuda Court? I think so, Mister Liu. I think so. I think, think so. Uh, yeah, they, me, say them, they, they say Mr. they say they want they say they want dialogue. You are talking Mr. about Mister Liu. Let me come. Let me mm. come. I think that. Uh, Repeatedly, Cardinal Tumi is a household name so far as the Anglophone struggle is concerned. Mm -hmm. He has played a pivotal role from start till now. Cardinal Tumi, like Brenda Riley said, was, if not the main brain behind the All Anglophone General Conference, had died because certain individuals said, No way, he cannot hold. Even during the major national dialogue, Cardinal Tumi headed a commission that had a very decisive role and that commission had to do with the return of refugees and the reconstruction of the northwest and southwest and even after that i think cardinal to me and uh, bishop Kia were sent to the northwest and the southwest objective to still talk to the people and when you look at the role he has played so far i believe that mr Liu is not standing he's not saying something that doesn't matter that he doesn't master the first day another thing i want to say is the fact that we should say here that repeatedly the call from all organizations within and without the country has always been the release of the separatists that are in Kondingi. Because, and a call for another dialogue. I don't think that if the president should grant amnesty and they say that Sisiko Ayukta with the Mancho BBCs and the others, that he should come out or refuse. I don't think so. Because everybody. They will go, they will ground zero, recognize them. That, that's, a, that's another ball game. When we get to that bridge, we'll cross. But I think that the major thing is, as of now, if Cardinal Tumi comes and is sending a message to the president, I think these guys should be released. It means that he's standing on, he knows on where he's standing, Mr. Liu. Do not forget that Cardinal Tumi. <laughs> no, Mr. Liu, let, let, let us be honest. Cardinal Tumi cannot just get up one morning. And say what he's saying. If he say what he's saying, he has been saying it. Yeah. Before the AGC, when he held his press conferences, he kept saying. But he's been saying this. That, that is still not. That is arrested. Is, so it's, it's not like it's a new but thing. But even even though he has been singing, that that is still is not uh, stop them from kidnapping him. Now. Kidnapping him. That, 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 that's why. That's why, Mr. Liu. Remember. Did you follow the interrogation. Yeah, they say you are you are you are you are. Then you attended the national dialogue. Yeah. Mr. Liu, there, there is something I've always said, and I think that. You know, when the separatists kidnap people, it is to pass an agenda. Cardinal Tumi is a public figure. It means that once Cardinal Tumi is kidnapped, even those of the international, it, it goes, it goes viral. Cardinal Tumi is not maybe not one one primary school teacher, maybe a certain prince who has no name. No, when Cardinal Tumi was kidnapped, we saw the 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 the, 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 the movement <laughs> within and without. And when he comes out, he says, "President, I think you should release these people." It's a step towards solving the problem. 
It says grant uh, general amnesty eh, for everybody. Correct. It is a step towards solving the problem. Yeah, but my question, my question to you is, would they, would they recognize it? Is he even speaking on their behalf? Because I've read the post when I posted this thing today on our page. Many of many persons say, Cardinal is saying his own. <laughs> but, 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 Mr. Leo, mm -hmm. whether the cardinal, I believe that cardinal to me, first of all, far from being a, a clergy, is a father. And he is somebody who has always preached peace from start till end. Cardinal to me, to him, I want to like feel or think what he's thinking. I want to feel that if these guys are released, it's already a step toward solving. It, 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 when you get to that bridge, we'll cross it. My question is not the posture of Cardinal to me. He is saying what you are saying. Yes. Yes. But would, do people actually, is he speaking the minds of, of the people? people? Yes. yes. Mr. Leo, I'm not, I'm not saying Cardinal to me, <laughs> but there is something I've said here. And I'm saying that if the Cardinal had spent days with those guys, comes out. Which couldn't have been done through a few yes. Comes out and tells the president, Mr. President, grant an amnesty. The cardinal knows what he's doing. Mm. And I don't want to look at it to the level of those who say that he doesn't have the mandate to do it. Cardinal to me is somebody who, who has substance. And if he says Mr. President is sure. And the people who kidnapped him had their intentions. Remember that I said that. <laughs> when you know the the, 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 the the to me the crisis has we are four years inside and even what the cardinal is saying is what so many persons have said before now okay because uh, mr leo mr leo because if you can remember the amnesty is talking about we know that during the major national dialogue some ring leaders of the separatists were sent invitations like the magba Italy. we it was all over but now the question was how safe would they be should they come and I think it is that angle that the cardinal is looking at. That there should be something like a presidential decree that says, okay, if these guys all come, do not be touched. Now, when this, when that first stage is already solved, that they are given amnesty, then the other, the, the other ball game will be looked into. But I think for now, cardinal knows on what he's saying, which I think is very correct. Yeah, uh, my question was whether those other guys are going to recognize what the cardinal would the government. I listen to the cardinal and answer. Is it, le, le, is it likely? Oui, c'est un problème très profond parce que, euh, comme on dit, on a laissé quatre ans passer et beaucoup de choses ont pris corps et se sont, se sont mûrement implantées. C'est un problème qui est devenu complexe, un problème au départ qui avait des solutions visibles et faciles à aborder, mais le temps a rendu justement la situation assez complexe. Vous posez la question si euh, le gouvernement va écouter d'une bonne oreille les recommandations ou alors euh, les l'appel du cardinal. Oui, oui. Euh, euh, vous savez, on ne va pas inventer la roue ou alors aujourd'hui on ne va pas euh, faire comme si on ignorait le système de fonctionnement de notre gouvernement. Rappelons-nous que le même cardinal Christian Tomi avait organisé la All Anglophone Conference et il avait exprimé sa bonne foi pour permettre euh, aux anglophones entre parenthèses, de se retrouver et de débattre sur les problèmes profonds et les pistes de solutions. Et lorsque le projet a été présenté au gouvernement, nous avons tous vécu ce qui s'est passé. Or, euh, nous, nous, nous sommes au moins d'accord que le cardinal traduisait, traduisait sa bonne foi en mettant en, en, mettant en place cette, cette initiative. Est-ce que le gouvernement va cette fois-ci écouter le cardinal Christian Toumi euh, J'ai tendance à reprendre par la négative. Au regard euh, de tous les appels, parce que nous, au MRC, nous avons euh, mis sur la table la même, la même problématique, l'amnistie. La, la, On a demandé au gouvernement de, de donner une amnistie au, 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 à toutes les personnes qui ont été incarcérées dans le cadre de la, de la crise anglophone pour qu'ensemble, on commence à faire asseoir les bases euh, d'une probable ou alors d'une possible euh, euh, réconciliation nationale et faire revenir la paix. Donc, quand j'ai fini par euh, rappeler ces faits, je veux quand même un peu m'inquiéter sur euh, le kidnapping ou alors, euh, je ne sais pas quoi, 
l'enlèvement du cardinal Tsikessan Tumou. Pour me poser la question, que, effectivement, qui sont ceux qui ont arrêté le cardinal Tsikessan Tumou et qu'est-ce qu'ils défendent Parce qu'il me semble que la crise anglophone aujourd'hui porte beaucoup de revers. Il y a beaucoup d'idéologies. Il y a ceux qui sont en réalité des fédéralistes, qui sont, qui sont moins violents. Il y a ceux qui sont des sécessionnistes, qui sont radicaux. Il y a ceux qui sont sécessionnistes, qui sont moins radicaux. Et justement, ceux qui ont pris des armes, est-ce qu'ils sont d'une seule faction Parce que, voyons, 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 voyons nous à ce qu'on assiste, on a des cas quand même isolés, des, des, des gens qui se passent pour des Amba Boys, c'est-à-dire pour ceux qui réclament la cause de la séparation, mais qui perpétuent au quotidien des actes qui sont des actes qui n'ont rien à voir avec l'idée d'une séparation. Alors, quand on a fini par, ce, par, par faire ce tour-là, on peut donc comprendre que la complexité de la question fait en sorte que euh, 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 les appels qui ne sont pas que celles que le, le, le cardinal qui s'est mis à, 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 à proposer, les appels qui jusqu'ici n'ont pas trouvé écho favorable, qu'au moins pour une seule fois, le gouvernement se penche sur les vraies questions, parce que disons-nous que on a laissé beaucoup de temps couler et beaucoup de choses se sont faites. Alors il est temps de revenir aux solutions premières, c'est-à-dire l'amnistie, le dialogue et poser les vraies bases, ah, ah, okay. poser ah, les vraies bases d'une république qui peut cohabiter, soit si c'est dans une logique de la fédération, mm -hmm. qu'on pose les vraies bases des lois qui peuvent permettre cette cette euh, je veux dire quoi, cette vie, cette vie républicaine. How, how, how do they call how do they call what is happening now that if you are an Amber boy, there's one of General uh, uh, ally who is in Boya, he had a, a, a Facebook live today, and today at the governor's office, 11 more came in from uh, Libya. Uh, they are received. How do they call that? Because we are talking about amnesty. But if you are an Amber boy today, you drop your, your weapons and you go to either the DDR or you go to the government offices, you are received, and then what is this? Is that not also part of amnesty? So how do they call that? It's part of uh, uh, amnesty because some of them are free now. Uh, yeah, many of them. Many of them are free, even though I heard one complaining that Nambere, to be precise, saying that he, he hasn't been, uh, 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 his card hasn't been handed over to him. But they are free. He is dining and whining. He can drive he can drive to Kumba and tell the people of Kumba that this thing will not happen here again. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> they are free. That's another, that's, that's amnesty, I, I'll call it. But the thing is, looking at how genuine it is mm -hmm. yes how genuine that is for now we we, we have seen uh you talk about general yeke we have seen those those young boys coming and saying they need they are stopping they will not do this again and they spend two or three months and the next moment you see them amongst us they are amongst us there are some there but there are some amongst yeah, but us. The, the, the question is they were at war with the state now the president i'm sure because this came from a, an end of year speech by the president of the republic who said that they drop their yes they should come yeah. yes was that not also an amnesty how do they call that it's amnesty. Yeah. It's amnesty. yes because you were fighting you had arms an and then now you come out you are not killed you are leaving je pense ah, que le problème, problème n'est pas à ce niveau. Parce que si on veut regarder le problème sur cet angle, on ne va rien résoudre. On va faire une, une marche sur place. Le problème, c'est un, un problème fondamental. Le cardinal et il, tous il les faut, autres... Il faut aller au-delà de... Ce il faut poser un acte fort. Et l'acte ben, fort, yeah. justement, c'est mm -hmm. de gracier ou du moins d'accorder ouais. l'amnestie à, à, à ces personnes, beaucoup plus ces personnes, ces leaders qui sont incarcérés, pour que ça porte un coup assez fort. Il s'est passé... Ce que je veux dire, c'est... En relation à ta question, c'est un kind of amnesty but the amnesty that's why he used the word general amnesty Amnesty, yeah because he expects that even if you do not put your arms down they should say okay you are if, if you come you will not be arrested those who are abroad come nobody will have anything against you let's sit and talk like a family on the table i think that's from the direction that's the direction from which uh, 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 the, the the cardinal actually was speaking from Looking at the present situation, there is a lot of complexities surrounding this thing. Considering the different factions that are involved in the whole stuff. So, 
if in case the, act, the president acts, accepts and finally say, okay, let me heed to the Cardinal's Council or call and grant general amnesty to these people. Is it everybody that's going to accept it? That's a question. That is where I believe that there will be a problem because there are some persons who prefer to die than to accept. There's a lot of division. Division. Yeah. So with that, the difficulty we have. you realize that at the end of the day, some people will say, okay, thank you for what has happened. Some will say, we are not giving up. Yeah. And it will continue. But I am of the fact that if it is done, then a dialogue is held. They will, it, it will solve the problem. It's just like I always say that Africans and Cameroonians do not need foreign aid and foreign uh, uh, solutions to their problems. I believe that if the president rises up as a father in the house, call his children together. Normally there are stubborn children that will not come. But when they don't come, the solutions that will come from that gathering will include them. And when that happens, a few persons will not overpower the rest of the people. To me, that is the way I'm seeing it. And I believe that that call can be of help if in case it is hitherto. I believe that the president is a wise man because he's of age. We usually say in Africa, it's an African proverb, that wisdom comes with age. And so at that age, he has wisdom to give up. And if he can get into that wisdom and apply part of, because this other man is an old man too, he spoke out of wisdom. I mean, Cardinal Tumi. It's more than yeah. Yes, by age. He spoke out of the wisdom of the elderly. And so if he's brother can listen to him it will solve a lot of things okay uh please uh a friend needs uh, a nanny if you have any person who can who would want to work as a nanny please contact me after the program if you have uh, somebody who can serve as a nanny here in Douala, take care of a child please let me know at the end of the program so that i can uh, contact can uh, link you with uh, the friend in question. Good evening, Mr. Liu and all the panelists. I think the call for amnesty by the Cardinal is the first step to build confidence uh, in the government. The government cannot have our brothers and sisters in the prison and expect us to collaborate with them. Henry is writing from Bermenda. Good evening to you, uh, Henry. <coughs> Good evening to you in the studio. These people have been appointed by the president. Everybody in position acts at their own private interest. Imagine before passing ENS Bambili, you are asked three millions right to your face. These guys mm -hmm. keep growing richer while we, the vulnerable, grow poorer. Remember, we gave them power. The day Cameroon will rise and take back the power is not far. It's Funui. Writing from uh, Boya, good evening to you, Funui. Good evening, Mr. Liu. The guy wearing uh, the Bermuda outfit should try not to be assimilated by the point of speaking French, where he is uh, typical on the phone. I'm embarrassed. Okay. Manel Kim, writing from Bermuda. Uh, Manel, good evening. He is a Cameroonian. Cameroon is a bilingual country, and we decide to speak whatever language. Innocent you, okay, our colleague uh, writing from uh, Kumba says, great job, Leo, and the rest of you in the studio. The Cardinal passes the message we pray. It is received even before a response. The calls are not new to the president. Thank you very much, uh, brother. Good evening, Mr. Liu, and all on the panel. I doubt if the president can hit to the Cardinal's amnesty call because many have been calling on him to release those in prison, but he has been given a deaf ear and he even sees those in prison as terrorists that want to destroy state peace. Juan is writing from uh, Yaoundé. Mr. Liu, my name is Rolando from DOP. My solution is to so let the president uh, I don't, and Shambu to step down for now, okay? My message is not clear. 
Uh, good evening, Mr. Liu. Is Cletus from Limbe, Cameroon? Is the way it is because there is no follow up of the president? He's visible and he should follow up with all. He really Cletus from Limbe. Good evening, Mr. Liu Cletus. Um, Mr. Liu, President Bia can never hit to, can, to miss an SC call. Bia doesn't work with pressure. No amount of pressure moves him. I mean, Ziana, writing from the United States of America. Uh, good evening to you all, Mr. Liu. The wealthy use the system to the advantage, whilst the middle class are being used by the system. Okay, Kingsley, writing from uh, Kumba. Mr. Liu, good evening again. Babila, writing from Kumba. We should stop blaming Paul Bia. The reason why he has overdue in power is that we, the Cameroonians, have patronized him. Good evening, Mr. Liu. Please tell uh, that auntie to respect the cardinal's name. To me, to me. Is he your age? <laughs> Boris from Bomenda. Okay. Uh, Boris, auntie is respecting cardinal. To me. <laughs> more writing from you they say good evening mr leo more from yaoundi it's very obvious that uh, the cpdm is the winning team so if you want to make a breakthrough belong to them they have a spirit of intimidation okay uh, more that is what uh, you think now how do we um what do we tell kana to me that even uh, even if the president does not hit to his call what next is to he should keep pressing now? Now that I respect the man cardinal to me, mm -hmm. he has two caps. When I look at him, there are two things I'm seeing in him. First of all, a man of God, and secondly, a father. It means that, and if you see Pa coming out as he has come out, is because he feels that four years is not four days. And like uh, my brother Kwan was saying. The anglophone crisis has taken another turn. It means that each day there are new surprises. Even, you, you know, it, it, as of now, Mr. Leo, it, it becomes to an extent very difficult even to identify who does what within the, the, the ranks of even the said the Amber guys. Because there are those who are using it for their personal gains. There are people who call you, threatening for you to send the money. They tell you you have not been supporting developmental projects and things like that. So, it, it, it is, as of today, it is very difficult. And it is difficult because the head of state, who is a father of the nation, he himself allowed it to go this far. Because four years is enough time for the Anglophone crisis to have been solved. This is 2020 that is almost expiring. Next year, 2021, we'll be talking five years of a crisis that everybody knows how it can be solved. Mm. So if the president, if Cardinal to me, is calling on the president to grant amnesty to everybody is a good way yes but well, uh if, if the president does not listen to him he should keep fighting now that that is what i'm actually affirming Mr. Liu, because given the president i know i don't think that the president may easily just may easily yield mm -hmm. because the president is somebody who does his own things at his own pace and does not believe in pressure remember that many persons have repeatedly called for a major national dialogue that the one that took place in Yaoundé did not meet up the canons okay. of uh, a major what, national what, dialogue. What, what should uh, the president of... Uh, no, what should Cardinal Tumi do yeah, after um, now? Men of God should join him in prayers now. It's not to me. And uh, it's more of my uncle before having been a cardinal. So you are not more... You are not, the person who watches you is no more closer to, 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 to Cardinal Tumi than I am. So you should chill. <laughs> Anyway, Leo, yes. <laughs> what I'm saying is that I think he is, first of all, after the kidnap, that, after he was kidnapped, the next thing we heard that he was um, uh, 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 being hospitalized. Mm. The best thing I would advise him to do is to pray. Keep praying for, no, keep praying for the nation. Let him take his rest, but li like a retreat, like, um, I would like to say a retreat and pray for this nation. Because he has talked. He, if you're, when your father talks to you about something, it gets to a point your father just stops and starts looking at you. And he's praying for you. And when you fall into that pit, the, you see your father, he will not dump you, he will not abandon you. He will come back for you. So, for, 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 for should keep praying for the nation. 
praying for President Pobia's heart to be softened, praying for uh, God to give him wisdom to handle the Anglophone crisis, as well as soften the hearts of the Amber Boys and the M uh, CRM party. Let him keep praying. <laughs> Let him just pray. Let him rest. I want, at least he should live longer than his mom. Okay. Uh, good evening, Mr. Coombe. The Bible says, and the government shall be upon his shoulder. So the president is supposed to heed to the cardinal's amnesty call. Uh, yes. What uh, should uh, follow? Should others also copy cardinal to me or take over the command battle and other, other men of God? We have been doing that ever since from the, the CRM. I thought you had man we of did. Okay. We did, we, we did uh, such proposition to okay. the government. Remember, uh, when they call for the national, I will not want to say the so-called national dialogue, uh, the CRM mandated the president at that time to issue the government what, what must have been done before the di dialogue was supposed to take place. But uh, up to today, Nothing of that sort has ever been done. Donc, Donc, nous avons toujours rappelé qu'il faut amnistier. Parce que, effectivement, la recherche de la paix commence où le problème se situe. Et nous savons tous que la crise anglophone a été portée par un certain nombre de personnalités qui sont, qui sont euh, présentées comme des leaders. Et il se trouve que ces personnes aujourd'hui sont euh, euh, en, 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 en prison. Et la crise n'est pas en train de montrer des signes qui laissent croire à une paix. Donc, c'est une solution que nous attendons tous. Nous, dans le, nous au MRC, nous l'avons portée. Et si le cardinal, le, le cardinal euh, Christian Tomi, aujourd'hui, porte sa voix pour demander au gouvernement, pour demander au président de la République, effectivement, d'aller dans ce sens-là, nous ne pouvons que euh, l'accompagner. Et nous invitons toute la communauté nationale, effectivement, euh, de porter très haut cette demande-là pour que, effectivement, euh, qu'il y ait cet espace où les Camerounais, quelle qu'en soit leur sensibilité, quelle qu'en soit leur idéologie, puissent s'asseoir et trouver ensemble euh, ce que nous pouvons considérer comme des solutions pour notre nation, parce que la nation tout entière en dépend. Alors, euh, je ne serais pas trop à l'aise de dire d'entendre que le président de la République va rejeter parce que l'intérêt, tout l'intérêt de la paix s'y trouve. Il faudrait effectivement que euh, 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 les gens soient graciés, les gens soient amnistiés pour que il euh, y ait ce, ce cadre de représentation. Parce que ceux qui ont pris des armes, ils l'ont pris simplement parce qu'à un moment donné, ils ont estimé qu'il fallait opposer à la force républicaine une autre force okay. pour faire entendre leurs idées que nous condamnons, mmh. jusqu'ici nous que nous condamnons, mmh. et nous demandons simplement au gouvernement de regarder dans le problème et non pas de regarder dans les périphériques okay. du problème oh, merci, pour apporter merci, des solutions. Merci beaucoup. Uh, nous sommes arrivés à la fin de l'émission. Uh, tomorrow we are going to give leave the stage for men of God to tell us the way out. Uh, are they going to bring down, pull down the strongholds that are holding uh, Cameroon captive? We are going to have them tomorrow uh, on the program, and then on Friday we are going to have a special guest uh, here in the studio to tell us about what happened at the Munich uh, conference. So much is talked about that some money was contributed and uh, to sponsor. Uh, the fight that is going back here. I'm talking about uh, the conference uh, that took place uh, uh, that was attended by um, Kawala Alice Metro and Lisko Metro Sim and a host of others. Uh, the key organizer is in the country. He's going to be here uh, with us on Friday to tell us more about what is uh, happening at that level. We want to say thank you for coming, Professor Mark Antoni. Thank you very much for the opportunity, Leo, and uh I think I'll always be available when the call comes. Okay, and uh, to you, thank you for coming. It's a privilege being on board, Monsieur Leo. It's true that uh, for some time now we've been around, but we're back. We're okay, back. we are glad you are back and welcome back. Thank you for coming, Mr. Dillian.
Mmh, effectivement, merci. Le Cameroun, c'est un pays bilingue, il faut que je le rappelle. Le Cameroun, c'est un pays bilingue. Je, je suis effectivement euh, du nord-ouest, précisément de Fundong, et j'ai envie de dire à certains téléspectateurs que je n'ai pas pu enterrer mon père dans son domicile euh, à Fundong, simplement parce qu'il y a cette crise ici qui s'est imposée. Et donc, euh, pour rappeler simplement que je suis une victime propre de la crise, mais ça ne m'empêche en rien de m'exprimer dans la langue euh, qui me sert le plus, parce que euh, que ce soit ceux qui sont du nord-ouest, du sud-ouest ou de l'ouest, personne euh, n'est né avec le français et l'anglais. Okay. Nous sommes tous dans nos langues maternelles. Thank you for coming. Thank you very much, Leo. I just want to uh, extend greetings to my maths and French teacher back in GBHS, Jacquerie. <laughs> <laughs> They are watching and I know they, they must be very proud. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, um, okay, if you taught me to. I know you are watching and you should be proud. <laughs> okay, we want to thank you all who took time off to watch the program. But please, if you have a nanny who can do a great job for a friend, call me after the program so that I can link you up to the friend. And uh, thank you to the production team. Desmond, Eli, Christian, and uh, Betran and friends, we say thank you so, so much. Stay blessed. Bye-bye.